Hi guys, Rui here, and I guess if you're watching me, it's because you're having problems with this LZ Play app while you are installing Google Mobile Services. Well, yes, there is a solution to your problem, and I can explain it like in two minutes. But please, first, let me talk to my Portuguese-speaking followers. Olá a todos. Mais uma vez, cá estou eu a fazer um vídeo em inglês. Isto porque surgiu uma novidade na forma como se instalam os serviços móveis da Google nos equipamentos da Huawei que não têm, por exemplo, a Play Store. Há aqui algo que deve ser feito, isto desde 10 de maio. Mas bom, a coisa resolve-se rapidamente e eu vou explicar em inglês como é que isso se faz. Muito em breve voltarei aos vídeos em português e está bom de ver o que é que vai ser um dos próximos protagonistas. So back to you guys and let me just start by explaining that until the 10th of May this wasn't a problem. Everything went smoothly. Something since then happens, well, and this method has to be done before you can continue with the older video. So after doing this you can go back to the video that you were watching and continue with that method. It will work. But uh, yeah. This is uh, kind of new. And again, if you have a P40 Pro, for example, I have a great video, really. A lot of people keep telling me that this was the video that helped them because, well, there are a few nuances that most videos don't have and that I have in my video because my P40 Pro was really, really hard. So yeah, I guess you should check that. I also have a P40 Lite dedicated video if you want to check that one out. But uh, okay, let's uh, start. So now what you have to do is to download the zip file that you'll find in the description. Yes, it's a new zip file and it doesn't replace the other one. You also need the other one that you'll find on the video you were watching. And uh, you're going to copy that zip file that you've just downloaded into your, well, either USB Type-C pen drive or just like I do, my USB pen drive and the adapter. Then you're going to attach it onto the phone and the rest of this video will be on the phone starting now. Okay, so the first thing you'll need to do is attach your USB Type-C either pen drive or adapter into the phone. There it is. Unlock it and then let's go. Well, what's happening right now is that this is the error you might have seen while you were trying to install with the original method. So this is an alternative to that. And what I want you to go is, well, first let's just uninstall the LZ Play app. Okay, that is done. We have to go into settings, find apps, apps again, and then, well, you can either search, but it's over there. Just tap on backup and for stop if you wanted to and uninstall. This is the important part. Okay. Once that is done, close everything, go into files, USB drive. This is the folder that you've just extracted. Tap on it, LZ restore, LZ play restore. Tap on the file, which is the backup app and okay. And now you can go onto your other video or well, if you just don't want to get lost and if you have if you've seen my other video the one from p40 you'll recognize this folder assuming you've already extracted it and you found the problem with LZ well just extract it remember tap on it for a second then tap on more and then tap on extract to and right there now I want you to tap on this one for a second, select the other one and select move other location, USB drive and here tap on move. It's copying. Okay. That is done. Now go to system and updates, tap on backup and restore data backup 
next, next, external storage, USB storage, and well, I guess you've seen this one already, but yeah, restore. And the password is again, Ferlando. Done. And if everything went smoothly now, ta-da, activate and allow, and it will work. Okay, so now you can continue to your original video. This part is really easy to identify, just follow that video, okay? That was pretty simple, wasn't it? At least I hope so. Anyway, now you can go back to the video you were watching or you can click on this one. It's a video I did and it's, um, well, it's for a P40 Pro, but it works on a lot of Huawei phones. And of course, it's um, for you to get Google mobile services into your phone. It's a really helpful video. At least that's what a lot of people tell me in the comments. So you might want to check this video out. Anyway, it's time for me to go. I hope this video was helpful. My name is uh, Rui. Please do consider subscribing to my channel and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.